only way to fly, right? Private. Away from the hubbub of the public. No prying eyes asking wordless questions I don't feel much like answering. <laughs> now, call me crazy. You wouldn't be the first. <laughs> but we need to centralize our operations. And that's why I've chosen this location. Well, okay, I didn't choose it myself, but I was part of the process. <laughs> I mean, I got the memo. The Appalachians have long been a place where people can kind of disappear, whether on their own or with the help of someone else. So, why not the dinosaurs? All right. Now we are in Pennsylvania. Pull a few strings, grease a few palms, twist a few arms, and bang! Just like that, the Department of Fish and Wildlife has a new base of operations. Now, we'll need to hit the ground running if we're going to have this place ready for something it hasn't dealt with in 65 million years. The bare bones are established. But before the ones covered in flesh and blood arrive, we'll need it fully functioning. Owen and Claire are already on site. They'll have more info for you. Dr. Dua will be coordinating your activities. And me. I'll be managing expectations and staying an arm's length away from the meat of sources. <laughs> oh, wait. Arm's length is probably not the best choice of words. We may need some additional hands on this one. Mr. Lambert? Standing by and ready to go. Just give the word. George Lambert is an expert ranger who worked with us in the islands and is now with the DFW. He and Owen will deal with the dinosaurs while we address the facilities. There are a number of animals from your previous captures that will be coming your way soon. Delays are unacceptable. Understood. We'll start with the construction of animal enclosures. We'll catch them, you keep them. All right. Let's get an enclosure up and running. So, first things first. Uh, make sure it's all in the yellow area so we get enough power here to our lines. And let's see how far is it all the way over there? That's, that's pretty big. Uh, we don't need that much space um let's go around like so give them a nice little enclosure like that and then all the way down again and yep down 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 and i think that we should go across beautiful all right this is gonna be our first enclosure let's wait until it's all the way built and let's get, on, get some nice little fencing done right there Put some water in here as well, like so. All right, excellent. That water is going to go into the next enclosure that we'll have for the next set of dinosaurs we need. But right now we have a delivery of captured carnosaurs coming in. Let's put a um, let's put a nice little uh, ranger post here as well, somewhere in the middle, right there, and let's give this guy something to eat. Cause I'm pretty sure they're gonna be right, right hungry. <laughs> something there and something there. Now, what we learned from the last episode is they are. Oh, what was that? They need sand, so let's go and give them a nice little sand spot right around here. Give them something that's nice to sit in, lie in, whatever they want to do. Excellent. That should be enough. Should we make them? Oh, here we go. Transport of dinosaurs. One there. Transit has commenced. One there. We have new arrivals that will need food and housing. I'd also suggest keeping a close eye on these dinosaurs until they settle into their surroundings. Lambert's right. They've had a taste of the wild. Confinement may not sit well with them. Okay. We make no assumptions and pay attention to all the details. Good. Remember, just like us, the dinosaurs are always learning. And you need to keep that in mind as you build another dinosaur habitat. Safety first, for them and us. Get it built, then get the dinosaurs into the new enclosure. That about cover it, Doc? Perfectly. All right. Let's get these guys checked out, see what uh, what's up with them. See if they're A-OK. -okay. Give me some direct control. And let's spot them out. Come on. Don't you guys fight, don't fight. All right, excellent. They should be okay. Let's see how they're doing. Um, yeah, look at that. Perfect. They love it. 
They love it already. Enough sand, enough forest, enough space. It's a good spot for them. All right, good. Uh, ensure that if carnosaurs are visible for the ra uh, viewing gallery. So let's put a viewing gallery up right around here. Like that. And let's get a path up there as well. Beautiful. Good. Okay, that will be fine. Let's see if anything else. Vehicle under threat. Uh, don't you... <laughs> They tore the, the tires off in the, 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 the bumper and the wheel. You guys need to stop doing this. It's going to cost me a lot of money. So let's see how much money. We currently have no income at all. Uh, but as soon as we have the viewing gallery up, that will change. The viewing gallery is going to give us a lot of money. There we go. Viewing gallery is up. See, now we should be starting to get some, some income. Um, as more and more scientists come over here and do whatever they want to do. So let's get the uh, Carnosaurus enclosure. is done. Um... They are nicely enclosed. Three, two, one, bam. And we are 100%. They are good and comfortable. Beautiful. All right, the delivery of captured allosaurus is coming. All right, and let's get some more, and let's get another enclosure over on this side. And so we want to have this enclosure attached to this, uh, to this enclosure as well. Get all the way up to there. And now, let's curve it around. Stick to the terrain. And of course, the space that we have available. So lots of forest. Excellent. That will just, we have to wait till that's built. And then we can, it already, have a, it already has a little bit of water here. Let's put a gate here as well. Put them right there. Let's put a, uh, not enclo enclosures, let's put a little... Uh, range post there, and let's put some food for them. This guy, see one of these, and of course a, a wild goat trap. <laughs> let's get our ranger team to go and uh, put this on their list of things to do. Add task. So let's go. Bam! Beautiful. Now this gorgeous little truck of ours is going to come over here and give this a once over. Now, this should be enough space for Allosaurus. Um, we need to go also put a little bit of a viewing gallery over here and see if we can manage that. It might just not work over there. Can we, can we get another viewing gallery over here? Um, one there. And I think that we'll put one over here as well. These, these kind of facilities are kind of big and very widespread. Bam, bam. Nice little path. Almost. Good. And all the way around like this. Oh, yep. Transport the dinosaur over to here. Asset transportation underway. <clears throat> and we will continue I'm with the sure road. I'll never be fully comfortable at the park, but the lab coats want to make sure the dinosaurs are, so <laughs> that's a job you should stay on top of. I am on top of it. Don't worry. There we go. Nice little path for our little scientists to go all the way over there and keep them nice and healthy. It's a long walk. <laughs> all right, there's our Allosaurus coming in. Let's make sure these are all a okay. All right. We don't know anything yet. Let's get our Ranger team over here. Where are you guys? Oh, there you are. Direct control, thank you. Drive over there, see how he's doing. Gates are pretty far away. No, there we go. Hey, dude. This side, thank you. Ah, excellent. Let's see how he's doing. How are you doing? You are content. You have everything perfect, 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 perfect. Forest is it's a bit on the low side, so we could add a little bit more forest, but I think that we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put a little bit of forest here anyway. Uh, yeah. Let's put a couple of these uh, different type of trees in here. Like that. 
And we need we need a special type of forest. Come on, there we go. That's better. That's better. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna go with this instead. <laughs> Are you happy now? Look at that. Forest is 58, 76, 70 percent. Beautiful. He's gonna enjoy it. He's gonna enjoy it right here. There's a goat somewhere in here. So go look for him. All right. Now our Allosaurus is safely enclosed. And he is doing the rounds, the looking for the toilet. Seem to be taking to their new surroundings. I want to make sure they are doing more than surviving. However, we need the animals thriving. As I'm sure you understand, our research is more valuable when we have superior specimens in their optimal conditions. Specimens. So I want you to get a science center built and operational. This means more scientists will be needed. So build a staff center as well. Ultimately, All right. science is about the data we collect and analyze. Rubbish in, rubbish out. We want to avoid that at all costs. Especially when you consider the investment that has already been made in these dinosaurs. The CIA wants results, and we're going to get them. Period. Full stop. End of story. Wow, lady. You're tough. You don't take no shit. All right, let's get this nice curve here. All right, that's set up perfectly. We need a staff center. A staff center gives us more space, more opportunity to hire people. So let's put that right there. It's kind of important that we get that. Because <clears throat> now we have the control center in the middle here. We should be able to see a couple more. Uh, so we, <laughs> wait, wait. we have to wait until we have the staff center built and then we can get some more people in here. All right, now I need, because <clears throat> we're working with uh, Metasaurus, I do need a, um, a emergency shelter or emergency bunker. Let's put a nice little bunker over here. I, I have learned this the hard way. I don't want to get people eaten. Look at that. Beautiful. That's going to help us with our safety. And we should have now... Yeah, look, we've got staff standing built. Uh, so now we should be able to hire some more, uh, some more people. So we've got two more slots available. Beautiful. Uh, let us get the paleo center done medical facility uh, built as well this is a pretty big boy we need him over uh, yeah uh, like that gorgeous and uh, that's gonna get built and then we'll have some scientists to go and sit in there and they'll be nice and happy how are you guys doing yeah you're doing fine aren't you they seem to be okay. <laughs> it's still funny how they sit like that. <laughs> I'm not even sure that's scientifically accurate, but I, I love it. It's good. <clears throat> how is our Allosaurus? Uh, he's munching down a little breakfast or dinner, whatever. Lambert here. We could really use an expedition center. Get one built. You want an expedition center? Okay, no worries. We'll get that done. So the Expedition Center gives us options to actually move out into the world and get some more dinosaurs. I want an Expedition Center over on this side uh, because we're not going to go and expand in this direction. Uh, we're just going to do build, put buildings there instead. So the Expedition Center, this one is what we need. And it should fit right, quite nice right between here. Na -na 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 -na. Bam, right there. Beautiful. Like we planned it. <laughs> All right, excellent. Everything seems to be working fine. How is our fuel as a generator? It's a, it's pretty low. Let's resupply it, fill it up. Now the dinosaurs are a okay, so they're nice and content. So they don't, we don't need to need the power to, uh, to we don't need to power our fences, so they won't strike them anyway. Uh, but in case of a storm or anything like that, then we need, to, well, <laughs> they're gonna break the foreign fence anyway, even if we have a storm. Okay, Doctor Dua and that guy Finch must be getting pressure from above because they want more animals rounded up. Check the expedition map and dispatch a remote capture team to a hotspot. I'll do what I can on my end. Here we go. Incident alert. We got a nice little... Eh, what do we got? This, um... Bloody hell. Uh, our pleasant field of research blah, 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 received an incident alert about a dangerous dinosaur proximity to the public in the outskirts of St. Louis. Two injuries have been reported and we need to send a live capture expedition immediately to capture and contain the threat. All right, let's go to the, to the alert center. That's this. Uh, St. Louis. Got a dinosaur over there. Two ankylosaurus. 
Uh, good, let's go and capture that one. So we need to have uh, Tuvi here and Mohonte uh, work together. Well, we can, of course, just send Tuvi because he has, we have a requirement of two out of two. Uh, we could send this guy, just just adds an excess uh, one point, which doesn't really matter much. So $50,000, bam, let's send this guy out. Okay, the good news first. We've been achieving some success with our remote capture teams, which means a steady supply of dinosaurs to our control center. Now that I like. Removing them from possible uncontrolled interaction with the general public is a 100% win in my book. Now to the bad news, which I always hate getting, but honestly, kind of enjoy giving. <laughs> <laughs> These animals are arriving with an unknown disease, and we've got to get a handle on it post haste. That's management speak for PDQ, huh? Pretty damn quick. <laughs> Dr. Dua? We can diagnose this disease with scans from our mobile veterinary unit. We'll get it under control before too long. That's good. Let's get to work. Well, of course. Let's put a little gate over here. Let's put a nice little enclosure. So we need to get these ankylosaurus uh, nice and comfortable. So let's put some water over here. And let's reduce the size of that. So these guys don't really care much for water. They also don't care much for forests. Oh, hello. All right, there we go. Captured zero evades. Capture time, one minute. Beautiful. Transport the dinosaurs. Bring them over here. In, in the meantime, let's get rid of these forests here. We don't need them. These guys just want open space. But they do want something to eat. So we're going to go and give them nice and fruits and nuts. All the way over here. Bam. They have a lot to eat. Lots to eat. Let's put a, um, a ranger post over here as well. Beautiful. And let's get our ranger team. Wait, where's the ranger team? Where are you guys? Oh, they're there. I need you. Add task. Come over there. Beautiful. See, these guys should be okay. They just need a status check. A status check is important. Oh, this guy doesn't have a status check. Apparently. Okay, no, he does. He does. And we need to go give us some, uh, get some uh, viewing uh, areas here as well. So one here should be fine. Bam. Let's put a road here as well. See if we can get that in between. Like that. All right. Now the cool thing about this is that we all have this all powered by one generator at the moment. This is great. Fuel is good. We have power uses 19 out of 30, so we're okay there. We need to get a medical scan, so we have to get our MVU up and about. Let's go get you. Uh, direct control. Let's go drive. I like to drive it. Right through the gate. Poor little dinosaurs are all sick and stuff. So, how are you doing? So, let's see. We need to go and scan you. And let's scan you as well. Hmm. We've got another scan available over there. We've got somebody else that's sick, apparently. Not just the Ankylosaurus. Let's go check out what's going on with my Allosaurus. The Ranger team's over here as well. Hello, guys. My colleagues. <laughs> All right, now let's go and see what's up with the Allosaurus because he seems to be sick as well. I don't really, uh, I don't know how he managed to get that, whatever he's got. It happened real fast. And then we'll check on the Allosaurus, see, oh, I mean the Ankylosaurus, see if they are all nice and happy before they go rampaging through the entire compound. Bam, bam, bam. Ah, ships, one of our Carnotosaurus also got sick, apparently. How are you doing? I hear you got the sniffles. Oh, my, I can't scan you for some reason. Oh, you got cryptosporotis. Okay, fine, cool. You just let's leave the truck over there. Oh shit! <laughs> uh, I shouldn't have done that. Run, run! He doesn't like you guys. Uh, you guys got a really expensive truck. It's got, got a bit of damage there. Some. Side span thing, which has got a little bit loosened up. Uh, I'm sorry about that. Didn't mean to drive over you guys. All right, now we got the scans done. Uh, status check on the Elsaurus, uh, Ankylosaurus. Where's my ranger team? Oh, they're right over here. 
Uh, direct control. Let's go get the status check done. We need to get them all scanned. All right, here comes a damaged truck. All right, my ankylosaurus over here are doing nice and fine. They're not really that annoyed at the moment. It's good. You have to understand something. Owen and I signed on to this project because we want what is best for the dinosaurs. Not for them to be exploited or engineered, hacked and spliced and compromised. They deserve a chance at life as much as any other living creature. Honestly, perhaps even more. As the miracle of science gave them a second chance. He's up in his butt. <laughs> Do the research, find the cure, and then let's use it. The dinosaurs die again and listen that's not going to happen of course it won't of course it won't all right let's go to the research center and let's go do this research now we know that they have cryptosporotis let's go research that uh so medicine and we got this guy over here um it takes a res oh, is it? um we need to have a little bit more research i think yeah we only have three out of four skill points at the moment so we need to go and hire somebody else with a little bit more skill let's go and get this done new scientist uh, recruit somebody new and let's see we need to have logistics as high as possible uh not really made here Oop. we have her which is quite she's quite good she's let's recruit her inui inui that's good let's confirm you are now hired you should do quite well so let's go back to the research center yep there we go view research uh, medicine select you and let's let's see yeah you're fine you're fine so we need that we need her and we have uh, Mohanti 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 yeah <laughs> so a hundred thousand bucks let's start this task let's get that going so they're busy at the moment it's gonna take one minute and 30 seconds to uh, to do all the research in the meantime we can of course check out how our dinosaurs are doing so these guys are comfortable are they comfortable so they require a little bit of something else. See the ground leaf. They need ground leaf. So let's go add some ground leaf. So let's see. Ground leaf. This is ground fruit, ground fiber. This is tall leaf. This is tall nut. No. Let's see. What, what are we? Where's the ground leaf? This is proprietary ground leaf. This is what we want. And what does this do? Ground fiber. You just want a lot of ground leaf around here. Let's go and put them all over the place. So how are you guys doing now? Uh, ground fruit is uh, pretty low. Let's go add some more fruit. So ground fruit and nuts. Mm, yep, that will do. So how are you guys doing now? Let's see. Ground fruit, ground leaf, 50, 46, 55%. Open space is still a bit low. Um, we could increase the size of the enclosure just a little bit over here as well. Let's do that. Let's go increase the size. Oh, bam. Like that. Let's give them a little bit more space to do the thing that they want to do, whatever. Whatever it is that ankylosaurus do, right? On the side, nice and square enclosure. All right, research has been done. Beautiful. So let's remove this. Wait, we have to wait until this fence is actually built. <laughs> it's almost there. It's almost there. All right, let's get our uh, MVU, mobile vet unit, add a task. I need you to go and treat him, and then treat him, and then potentially also treat this guy, and treat that guy. Can you do that? Thank you. Let's go back to the Science Center and see if we can view some more research. Now, uh, we got, of course, some infrastructure here. Uh, this is the uh, efficiency upgrades for the power plants and everything else. Uh, it's quite nice. It's quite a long tech tree. We don't need that at the moment. Uh, we also have the um, enclosures. So we have the basic enclosure unlocked. This is the medium electrified fence, uh, which would be nice to have. Um, we could go ahead and research that. We only need four, so let's go ahead and say these two over here, start the task, reach that for me, please. Excellent. 
And we have the MVU is um, is taking care of all these people. Look at that. They're already, uh, these guys are all sick. No, not so no longer sick anymore. <laughs> they have been treated. So how are you guys feeling? Yeah, you're feeling good, aren't you? Uh, they seem to be fine. They seem to be fine. <laughs> all right, excellent. That'll be fine. And we'll get all... Ooh, they're both sick at the moment. Uh, let's add a task. I'm going to go and uh, say, do this one as well. You know what? I'm going to go direct control. Medicate. Let's see. Uh, hit you in the butt. Bam. One more. And that should be 100%. Yep. No longer sick. Let's see. And now this one's going to go directly and do that one over there, the Allosaurus. He is not very... <laughs> see, the thing is that this, this disease isn't that bad. Their health seems to be pretty high still. So I'm, I'm not worried about the dinosaurs. They should be fine. We're going to treat all the dinosaurs with the uh, Cryptosporoidus uh, disease. Now cure. And be done with it. Now we have our ranger team over here doing all sorts of stuff. Can we take a picture with the ranger team? Is that something we can do? Let's see, direct control. Uh, no, we can only do a dinosaur, flare, and binoculars at the moment. Yeah, too bad. All right, got the research done for the electrified fence. Uh, research available, large electrified fence. Ooh, that's cool. Let's go check that out. How does this one do? This one is a greatly improved enclosure perimeter, requires a power source. We need six out of, we need nine um, logistic points, which we don't have. We only have six at the moment. So we have to hire somebody else <laughs> to join in on that. So we'll have to skip on that for now. We might uh, hire somebody else later on, but for now, I think this is fine. Let's go see the, what's this? This is, uh, that's already done. That's the inoculation. Uh, tuberculosis treatment. Let's do this research as well, because you never know. Uh, let's go for, we need, we have to have uh, four uh, logistic points. So let's go and put this, both these guys in here as well. Get you started. Beautiful. Now, the more work they do, the more richest, richest points they get, the higher the chances that they get promoted. And by a promotion, they get an additional uh, uh, experience point. Cool. This is Lambert. I've just received word that you'd like us to increase our capture efforts. But don't hit the Can dinosaur. Confirm. Yes, that's correct. We need to grow this facility, which means we need more animals. It's time to stress test our systems and make sure we're capable of managing both the science and our operations. Understood. My teams are standing by. We still have a number of dinosaurs in the wild. Plenty of targets to bring in. Assets. And yes, this will be an ongoing mission for us moving forward. Yeah, we got a lot of money coming in though. It's good. Spent a bit, but <laughs> for the rest, it's okay. And we got four million. So I'm kind of confident that we'll be able to handle everything. All right, that has been going quite well. I, sus I think that we're doing quite good. We have three different species of dinosaur. Let's go check if we can find ourselves another expedition to go to on the map. Oh, look at that. Got a whole bunch of them. Where are they? Is it all in America at the moment? Well, uh, North America. In the U.S., uh, we got ourselves a Baryonyx over here. Two of them. Um, we'll see about that. We got the Cynoraptors. And we got Parasolophus. Uh, Chasmosaurus. And we have Taurosaurus. Near the Killing Ski Report, uh, Resort. <laughs> so what's this over here? Uh, they have be sending a one Brachiosaurus. We don't have the, um, the necessary science to get these guys yet. Uh, what about this one here? Uh, they'll be signing up three Diplodocus near Fargo. Ooh, uh, but our staff is kind of busy at the moment. And uh, they've been signed for Dinocus uh, near Atlanta. Hmm. So we need to have two logistics. Uh, I'm sorry, six logistics at the moment. We don't have enough. So we might need to hire another scientist. Let's go to the control center. Let's see what we can do. Now, we have uh, Mohanty over here. It's got six health, which is quite nice. But, but Tuvi over here is pretty much useless. So we might need to go and um, uh, we can either rest them. I think we should rest this guy. It's going to cost us a bit of money, but he won't be available for uh, two minutes. In the meantime, 
his unrest is going to go up and up and up as he as he do more, does more stuff. Uh, we can train him, but yeah. Let's recruit another scientist. We need more logistic points, and of course, also more um, more uh, genetics points as well. So I'm looking at Adesina, and she's kind of expensive, uh, but she has a nice set of uh, set of points here. Uh, Lee has a nice logistics setup, seven out of ten. That's also quite impressive. Uh, As Asgar has be is pretty much all round. I like that as well. Uh, Mori is pretty high. This is three thousand nine hundred, three hundred ninety thousand, ninety-one thousand. So she's five hundred thousand. So he is cheaper than she is in that he has the same kind of score setup. Um, so I'm gonna go for Mori. Let's go and recruit this guy. Confirm. It looks cool too. So he's not he's not tired at the moment. So we could send him out straight away and get ourselves another dinosaurs. So much more dinosaurs. Or we could fire this guy. And um, uh, yeah, we could just get a better dinosaur. I mean, a better, better facility. But some a new scientist at least. But we'll keep it for now. And see what happens. All right, that's it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you didn't leave it a like, oh hello. Cohabitation. Each species has a type. Check for details in the dinosaur specific panel. Each type of dinosaur will peacefully cohabit with a number of other types. They will happily share territory. Some species types are incompatible with others and will conflict if they share territory. So that means that the um, Ankylosaurus, for instance, or the... Oh, hello. So banks have an upgrade. Yes, we know that. Uh, new building upgrades are available, blah, blah, blah. And we have a maximum slots. Maximum two unique upgrades to each building. Yeah, that's good. All right, so we got all that information. So we have the Carnotosaurus. They can cohabit uh, with a bunch of... Well, not much, but... <laughs> they should be fine. Um, hide preferences. No, shared with no shared territory. So at the moment, they don't really care much for that. But they should be fine to share it with uh, smaller carnivores. Which is complete. Tuberculosis is done. Good. Um, where is our cohabit? Ah, oh, bloody hell. We don't, I don't want to see it. I don't see it. So let's go see our ankylosaurus. Let's see. How are you? How social are you? So, no shared territory. Oh, hey, stop hitting him. <laughs> Kobe habitation preferences. Likes Compostognathus, uh, Sauropod, uh, Ornithomp. Uh, Ceratosaurus, Hardosaurus, blah, 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 Carniv dislikes carnivores and Ankylosaurus. Uh, basically, they don't like each other. <laughs> and they don't like Stegos. So, uh, as long as they are either really big or small, they don't really mind. Mm. So, let's see. Oh, we, oh, we have to also just reduce, uh, get rid of this as well here. So, we can get them some more territory over here. So, they can move around a bit better. See how you're doing now? Open space. And they need more space. They need that's not perfect, not 100 percent perfect. They want a bit more space. And as soon as they go and lumber around a bit, they might notice our space over here. That should make them a little bit happier. You have to keep them as happy as possible, otherwise they'll rampage and then they'll break through everything and they'll cost you more money. Uh, the things we gotta do for dinosaurs, right? <laughs> It'll take them a, a bit of time before they're completely comfortable with this environment or this, this enclosure. They'll wander about and they'll get happier as they see that they have more space. But, in the meantime, but it, make sure that they have what they need in these other spaces as well. Because even though he might come over here and his other buddy will be over there, he'll get lonely, he'll get agitated. He might not find any water, he'll get dehydrated. These guys are kind of, kind of stupid. So, <laughs> so you have to make sure that they have what they need as close by as possible. Anyways, that's it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you didn't, if it was dislike, it's fine. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.